Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. Hi, and welcome to the Stop Chasing Skinny podcast. Today, we have founder of Longevity Fitness in Charleston, Jenny Brooks. So Jenny doesn't just do fitness. Jenny has a really amazing background. She has traveled all over the world. She has worked with Olympians. She's apprenticed with master instructors. And she decided to go on and develop her own signature style of training that focuses on improving the body mechanics and empowering the mind. And so then that's how you achieve your wellness. And I had the great pleasure of interviewing Jenny for the Oblique Magazine here in Charleston. We had a Fit Girls event there. We got to check out her brand new studio. It's the coolest studio I have ever been in. It's like spa meets fitness. So I just had to have Jenny on to talk about how she put all of these amazing programs together, what the science is behind it, and I highly recommend if you're visiting the area, if you live here, go check out Jenny's studio. So without anything else from me, welcome, Jenny. Hi, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Yeah. So could you tell us just a little bit more about your background, your fitness background, how you got into this, and how you designed all of your programs? Sure. Well, I grew up in a fitness family. Both my parents were uh, competitive marathon runners. My dad was a competitive open water swimmer. So whether I liked it or not, it was in my blood. And all our vacations growing up were going to their races or meets. And I really saw the dedication and the commitment that they put in and, you know, celebrating their achievements with them was a huge motivating factor for me and really taking ownership of my health and, you know, and kind of going on that path. I always was very active. I, I grew up as a dancer. I I ran. I also uh, was an equestrian. And I just loved, I loved the movement. I loved feeling healthy, feeling fit. And I also loved just the being around other people that loved fitness as well. It's, it was, uh, it's, it's very inspiring. And, and as you continue to to, to grow and evolve through your life, you realize how important it is. And, you know, starting young and establishing those kind of lifestyle healthy habits really, really makes it easier as you, as you age and, um, and keep them, you know, part of your life as you get older. And so I went to school studying dance, but I also got an international business degree as well. And when I graduated, school in Florida, I moved out to California and I was running competitively, but I also took a job in a a entertainment publicity studio. And I did that for a few years and, and used my degree and I really enjoyed it, but I found my true passion was in coaching other people to, to run and kind of reach their potential. So I decided to make a career change and I went up to San Francisco and I went to graduate school for holistic health education and nutrition, but I really focused on sports performance. And I was just very fortunate to meet two of the world's master instructors in Pilates. And they took me under their wing and taught me everything they knew. They really helped me develop a very sharp eye for the body and understanding movement and seeing kind of imbalances in the body and helping people bring awareness to them. And then I also was very fortunate to land an internship with uh, the director of athletics for Stanford University. And that was back in 2008, right after the Olympics. So I was getting to work with, you know, these softball players that had just come from the games and, and, you know, just being around them was, was a truly, truly special time. And then when I came back to Charleston, I wanted to kind of bring all of these different experiences and things that I've learned to the community. And I spent some time just kind of serving what was uh, what was here and what people wanted and, and, and what the needs were. And I was a head of uh, personal training over at MUSC for a few years. And then I also taught at, a, at an excellent Pilates studio, Praxis Pilates here in Charleston. And I wanted to open up a studio that really kind of combined all these elements. I mean, the foundation of anyone's fitness or, or longevity should be really understanding their body and knowing how to strengthen from within out. And, you know, 
there's so many different crazes about, you know, getting fit quick and, um, you know, how many calories you can burn and, and these kind of really super intense workouts. But if you don't have the foundation, you don't have that strength and you don't have the knowledge of your own body, then you can really be uh, lending yourself to injury down the road or actually, you know, hurting yourself and, and making yourself, um, you know, actually have to step back and, and, and take time off. So what we do here at Longevity is really try to a, help people understand their bodies, what their needs are, and then offer a variety of different styles of training that promote what they need so that they can continue to keep progressing, you know, throughout, throughout their life. I absolutely love that because you, you said it so perfectly when you said that if we do, if we do things that are not good for our body, we think they might be good for our body, but we may end up with injuries. Now, not only do we have this injury that is annoying, it may actually make us step completely away from everything that we're doing. And more is not always better. Right. Absolutely. Um, you know, again, here at Longevity, we offer a lot of different styles of training. I do strongly believe that we're an underactive society and that we do need to be moving more. We do need to be incorporating more healthy exercise habits in our life. But that doesn't mean just getting up and going really hard for one hour, one hour, you know, two or three times a week. It's something that you really need to incorporate into your daily life like you do with anything else and understanding what your body needs each day. So we try to promote people to be active every day and offer a variety of different styles of training so that it would support what they're doing and not just cause overuse or fatigue and that sort of thing. And that's really great right. because you, with your background in running, competitive running at the mar- marathon distance, competitive level, mm-hmm. you understand that you can't just go and pound the pavement at day after day, mm-hmm. that you need to do these other things. And I think that's really cool because you are looking at it through that lens. And so I'm sure a lot of your programs are kind of geared towards that runner, that person who's going to go out there and do that every day. And, you know, when I took the classes at your studio, we focused so much on all those stabilizing muscles, like you said, working from the inside out. Yes. You you said it right on, Stephanie. I talk to people a lot um, about, you know, picturing their life as a marathon rather than a sprint. You know, what are you going to be doing each day that's going to help you stay consistent and is going to help build strength so that you continually um, get stronger and um, are able to, you know, continue to, to do what you love to do as you age. I have some amazing clients that have been with me since I moved back to Charleston seven years ago. They're in their 60s. They look and are fitter than they were when they were in their 50s, I mean, or even 40s. I mean, they, it's amazing to, to look at them. They're so inspiring, but they get it. They, you know, and, and even some of my younger clients, you know, a lot of times I have to help them really kind of understand what, what's so important about, you know, being fit and exercising and, and all that's out there, all these different styles of training, which I think are wonderful. I love that there's so much variety and that people can really navigate to what they love to do because that's a huge part of it. If you're not liking what you're doing, you're not going to stick with it. But to also really understand, you know, what's benefiting them and and what's not. And, you know, when you think about the marathon, there is a lot of training involved. You do have to be, you have to plan. You really have to kind of see the big picture and understand that it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in a month. That it's something that you really have to commit to. And when you do, and and it doesn't have to be something that, so overwhelming. But if you just take these little steps and you just stay consistent, it, it's amazing how how your body will change and you'll look back and you'll go, oh my gosh, wow, I am really strong. I am really fit and I feel really good. Yeah. And you nailed it right there with the consistency because um, a lot of people think that they can start a program and they'll have some transformation in one month. And that's just not the case, especially with building muscle that takes time. And so you're right, just consistency over time. You can actually turn back the hands of, of the clock. It seems like, yeah, that is that is wonderful. I love hearing that. That's truly inspiring. I see a lot of stuff on, especially social media, because I spend a lot 
lot of time there where, and don't get me wrong, fitness competitions, they have their place. I did them, whatever. But um, I see a lot of people who are quote unquote fitness models, fitness competitions, that kind of stuff. And I see all these comments, oh my gosh, you're such an inspiration. But what I find truly inspirational is somebody who is taking care of their health from the inside out and they've been doing it for five, six decades. That's amazing to me. Mm-hmm. Because it definitely, you're right. It takes, it takes, a, it does take a lot of hard work. And, and especially in the beginning when you're, when you're trying to set a new habit, something like this. But, um, when you really start to make it part of your lifestyle and you realize how good that you feel and how much better that you sleep and how much more positive your, your attitude is, it's like, oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> why, why There's my I magic pill. Yeah. Yeah, it's so nice. <laughs> it's so nice too now because fitness is becoming such more of a social element in society. You know, now see people hanging out in their fitness clothes, you know, they're, they're, <laughs> it's the whole at the leisure. Yeah. Let's go meet for a workout and then we'll go for um, a juice afterwards or whatever it is. But it's, it's this nice community type of feel. And I think that that's, that's a huge factor. That is huge. And it is, it, we are lucky, huh? So we're going to take a really quick break. We'll be right back. SK Fit Life also has downloadable programs, including Fitness Model Labs, a 30-day meal plan and recipe download, 52 weeks of high-intensity interval training routine, a supplementation guide download, vision board planning toolkit, and much more. Check them out under the shop tab on the website. And welcome back. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about these specific classes that you have, because I just found, I mean, I've taken tons of classes throughout my life and I could, I could tell a huge difference with the way that you programmed your classes. I thought that they were really interesting. I am not familiar with Pilates so much. So it was really interesting for me to see the Pilates based classes that you have. And I didn't feel intimidated at all. Like I, I didn't see the word reformer and go, Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know about that. So can you run through the list of classes that we took? If you're reading the oblique article that I wrote, you see my little description, but I thought I'd interview Jenny so that she could give a full description of what her classes are. Sure. So um, we do offer a variety of Pilates-based classes. And just real quick to touch on on Pilates, people wonder what that word is. And Pilates was was started by a man named Joseph Pilates. And he just really took the fundamentals of movement and um, created exercises to help promote the body to be able to perform those movements in, in good alignment and with, you know, good core control. So it's, it's really just taking movement and kind of um, breaking it down a bit and really helping you understand where your body is in space, how you move, how you stand, how you sit, how you sleep, so that you can really understand, okay, well, why is my back hurting sometimes? Or why is, you know, my shoulder? Well, maybe it's because the way I'm carrying myself or the way I hold more weight in one side. So it's, that's really Pilates is just about building that body of awareness and then helping you kind of strengthen those areas that are under active or are not used enough and kind of releasing areas that might be overused. So that's kind of the gist of it. And that's why I find it's like, it's kind of like your vegetables. You really need to have that um, awareness and, and that strength to be able to then progress. So we offer, you know, Pilates mat where you don't have to worry about the equipment. You're just on the mat. You're, you're really into your body. It's probably the most challenging of all the different types of Pilates training because you don't have the, the machines to help assist and support you. It's all you. But it's really great to ha- get into your body and really understand what you need. And then we have lots of kind of props and stuff that we that we bring out that can make it more challenging or help support the body as well. And then we have our Pilates performer classes. We do a core moves class, which is like an all levels class. If you can make it as challenging or as not as you want, but it addresses you know, all areas of the body, it really address, addresses the core control, understanding your alignment. It's, it's an excellent class. And then we can take it up a notch and we do our core burn. And I'm having a blast with this class because 
we can play around a little bit more. We add some intensity with some cardio. We'll add, bring out some, you know, light weights, but do some, some kind of challenging core exercises with them. So it really kind of just spices it up a bit. And then we just started this reformer core burn and bar class. So we have some amazing instructors that are professional dancers and the repertoire and the exercises they bring are phenomenal. And so we do that in our front studio. We're on the top floor. So you just have these beautiful, expansive views of downtown. So when things are really getting intense, you can just kind of look out and say, <laughs> okay, at least I am where I am. But um, but they're really fun. We've been getting a lot of great feedback from those. And then we have a new class that we're going to be kicking off in April, which, which you took, Stephanie, or you took a little piece of called sweat therapy. Oh, and yes. it's kind of like taking those, yeah, taking those Pilates exercises and really turning it up. So making it more cardio based. It's very little rest. We keep moving. We go to the music. So the music kind of helps carry you through. It's it, it, it's kind of an endorphin rush, and I'm really excited about teaching that class. And then we have a great blissful stretch class, and it's so funny. When we introduced that class, it just filled up immediately and hasn't slowed down yet. And we really understood and, and listened to people that, yes, they want these intense exercise workouts, or they want to feel like they really got everything out of it, but they also need that time to really just release and, and you know, allow that their bodies to recover. So that's a wonderful stretch class that we offer. And then we also have an amazing yoga instructor, Gail Corvette. She's been in the Charleston community for, for quite a while, well over a decade. And she teaches alignment-based yoga class. And there's a flow element to it. But you also really get to tap into your body. She goes around. She does a lot of assisted corrections and and help you kind of get a little bit deeper or open up a little bit more and really kind of understand where your body is in all these different poses. I, I absolutely love her classes. And then we have uh, our pulse class. And our pulse class is a lot of fun. So we take kind of the bar workouts that you see are so popular now. And again, we incorporate those Pilates foundational kind of movements and principles. And we, um, we use our, our bar and then we use the mat and incorporate um, balls and bands and stuff. And it, it's a really fun class. And it's also taught by one of our professional dancers who is just phenomenal. And then, and then we move into our TRX. And TRX is a big uh, love of mine. When I moved back to Charleston and I was really trying to you know, understand the Pilates community in Charleston, I, I felt like it hadn't really caught on as much as the West Coast, but this TRX was, was, was picking up. And TRX is just these suspension training sta- straps that you hang at an anchor point, usually about seven or ten feet above you, and you just use your own body weight. So it's really nice because you're having to work your alignment. Your Their kind of mantra is, you know, being in a plank position at all times. So you have to really understand how to hold yourself in that plank position doing bicep curls or rows or pikes or whatever it is. So it's very challenging, but again, you can make it um, less or more just by, you know, adjusting your position. So it's great for all levels and it's so highly effective. So we do a, we do a flex and flow class, which incorporates, um, again, the Pilates and yoga with the TRX. And then we have our TRX transformation, which is kind of like your boot camp, you would say, workout where we incorporate some kettlebells and heavier weight and row machines and, and bozers and jump ropes and, you know, really kind of takes things to the next level for people that are really ready to really push themselves that much. And then we have our cardio classes, and uh, we have those led by Diana Dove, who moved down from New York a few months ago, and she is just a firehouse. She is um, incredible. She has so much energy, so much motivation. She teaches a really fun dance cardio fitness class, and she also teaches a really killer hit class, which is just, again, using your own body weight, but doing these five-minute hit intervals, which are they can totally uh, break you down, but then you, you have so much energy afterwards, you're ready to go again. They're awesome. So we really try to create a really well-rounded offering here for anyone that comes in the door and is really ready to get started and, and wants to find a way to like continue progressing and, and, and also and having fun and not getting bored. That is awesome. And listener, if you didn't catch it, (laughs) the the bios of all of your staff members are amazing. I remember when I first read through it and I thought, 
oh my gosh, all of these people, not only are they highly qualified, like they're way beyond that. <laughs> so you bring so much uh, talent to your studio. And so I had so much fun. We had the sampling class. We went through some of those classes. You are absolutely, it's your, your schedule is the most ra- well-rounded schedule I've ever ever heard of in a studio and really you're right like somebody could take a class every single day and get movement in and it's not always about how hard can you go a lot of times we hold on to extra body weight because we're all stressed out we've been sitting we are out of proper alignment um you know we we I've said this on the show before but I can't say it enough because I think that I always need the constant reminder that we have this fight or flight response. When we're stressed, we have this fight or flight adrenaline and other hormones that get pumped in our bodies. And so in our modern day, we don't really have to do the fight or the flight part, but we are bombarded by even more stress factors than we used to be, including traffic, social media, the news, regular media, things like that. And so a lot of times we don't realize that now we're just sitting in all of these chemicals, these stress hormones, and we got to shake it off. So you were right. When we took Diana's class, her cardio, cardio dance class, we were shaking it. And, and at the end of it, you just felt so good because you shook off all that stress. You did your fight or flight response <laughs> without doing fight or flight. Absolutely. Oh, it's so fun seeing people's faces when they come out of that class. <laughs> I mean, they're just on a high. It is really fun. And, and you also hit it. You know, our lives are stress, full of stress. And so when I was creating the studio, I wanted a place that when they stepped off the elevator, they could immediately feel that stress just go. And so, you know, the feel of the space and you said the spa that was really kind of the intention is to create a very soothing, welcoming environment where people want to come and hang out and they want to belong. And the best compliment I've received was people come and they're like, I don't want to leave. And it's hard, (laughs) you know, to say that about a gem. You're like, I got to get in and get out of here. But we want people to hang out. We care so much about our clients. We want them to feel like they're part of a family. And, you know, we do, aside from our fitness classes, you know, we offer a little happy hour on, on Fridays and then sometimes on the weekends. We do a lot of different workshops. We have a whole wellness side where we offer um, acupuncture and massage therapy and physical therapy. We even have this incredible physiotherapist from New York who works with um, USA track and field and squash teams. And he moved down here and he's with us and does this whole stretch therapy that people just um, have been crazy about. And, um, and then we offer, you know, light bites and juices and, and complimentary espresso and tea because we want people when they get on their workout to come and sit up and talk with us and, and tell us about their day and, and know that they don't have to rush out and go back to, to life just yet. They can kind of just, you know, settle in and, and relax a bit and then feel ready to go when they are, you know, when they want to. So. Well, you hit the mark on that one because that's exactly what it feels like when you step off the elevator. Oh, I'm in a spa. <laughs> um, but <laughs> but it's, um, it's that that energy is really, really um, – it's energizing. I mean, so it's a spa, but like, I don't know, you already feel a little bit healthier stepping off the elevator into your space. So that part's really great. We, we did put a lot of thought, you know, not into just the aesthetics of the space. But even the smell, like we, we spent time and formulated a candle that we call the longevity candle that we burn here. And that's one of the things people come off and they're like, what is that smell? It smells so good. So there's so many different factors that we really try to tap into everyone's senses so that, yeah, they feel energized, but they also feel, you know, at the same time kind of stress-free and just and, and happy, you know. They have, a, they have a really positive attitude when they come and when they leave. Oh, that's great because we do need more of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to take a really quick break and we'll be right back. And today's show is sponsored by Memer Media Group. Memer Media Group is passionate about helping professionals in the fitness industry expand their influence and businesses beyond the confines of their local community. For the very first time in history, health, wellness, and fitness coaches can make a positive impact and earn an income from anywhere in the world. Check out Memer Media Group at memermediagroup.com. M-E-E-M-U-R 
Media Group. And welcome back. So, um, Jenny, could you just talk a little bit about where somebody could find you? Like I said before, I know a lot of listeners do not live in Charleston. A lot of listeners do live in Charleston. And if you're visiting, one of my favorite things to do when I'm on a vacation is to find something fun and physical to do. And your studio is... It fits that. I mean, that it, your studio is totally the destination workout place. And so for people who are visiting or people who live here that you're lucky, um, can you tell us <laughs> a little more about where you're located? Sure. So we are located right down on the peninsula. We're at 163 Rutledge Avenue. We're in the penthouse, so it's the top floor of the office building. We do have some parking underneath, and then there's a parking garage right across the street as well. Um, You can also, if you are visiting, you can find us through the MindBody app, and we've been really fortunate. We've had a lot of -of out-of-town people come in, guests, finding us through there and um, and checking us out. So we, we love welcoming locals and visitors alike. Yeah, and just kind of keep promoting uh, uh, the space and the, the studio, but also just longevity and what we're about. Yeah, and that's great because you guys, like, like you said, I mean, you are located really close to MUSC. So, I mean, that's a stressful job. So anybody, it's great that you offer these classes all day long. You have people that can just drop in, you know, if they have a little bit of time, shake it off, (laughs) get back on with their day. That's fantastic. Yeah, we actually just started these express classes as well during the lunch hour. So we have a, an express core burn class and an express TRX class. And we made it so you can either take both back to back or if you just want to jump in for 35 minutes and, and get a great workout and then head back to your day, you know, we, we offer those as well. Oh, that's great. Because really 35 minutes, that is fantastic, especially if you're doing it every single day. Cool. Yeah. So thank you so much, Jenny. Is there anything else you'd like to share with the listeners? I just want to thank you so much for your time. And, you know, I love just kind of promoting the healthy mindset. And if you are new into fitness or getting back into a program and you're not sure where to start, that is one thing we get. We're like, you offer so much, but we don't know where to begin. I offer a complimentary, um, you know, 15, 20 minute session. Come in, meet with me, get to know a little bit more about you and can kind of provide some guidance on, on a schedule to put together. So, uh, we want to, you to feel like you are in good hands and feel very confident in your, in your fitness journey. Oh, that's great. That's that's really great. I see a lot of people who are just getting started and they're not quite sure where and that's a really nice introduction. You do have a very nice little family there. <laughs> well, thank you thank so you. much. And I'm going to put the link to the article that I wrote from Oblique Magazine for Longevity Fitness. I'll put that in the show notes and we'll put all of Longevity's contact information in the show notes as well. So thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you, Stephanie.